the other big type of solution calculation, or well, the second, there's three. Uh, the second of our types of solution calculations are what are called dilution calculations. And dilution is simply adding water to a more concentrated solution. And when you do that, it will become more dilute, less concentrated. And quantitatively, the dilution formula looks like this. So M1V1 equals M2V2, where the capital M's stand for molarity. And the capital V's stand for volume. And typically, uh, what I do is M1 and V1 are my more concentrated solution. and M2 and V2 are my more dilute solution. But that's just for me and to keep myself organized. Uh, the math doesn't care which way you do it as long as you keep the more concentrated things together and the more dilute things together. And we'll do some problems in a minute, but the way this looks is, so if I was preparing three liters of 0 0.500 molar calcium chloride solution, and that is aqueous because it's dissolved, from 10.0 molar calcium chloride. This is our more concentrated solution. And this is because it's got a lower molarity, that is our more dilute solution. And as far as problems go, we know that the word of usually means multiply, so we're not surprised when we're multiplying our molarity and our liters of our more dilute solution. And so uh, we've got a picture of this process here, but let me work through the calculation first. So M1V1 equals M2V2. And what I'm telling you is we've got our more dilute, both our molarity and our volume. So let's plug those in. That's going to be 0 0.500 molarity. And we've got 3.00 liters. We don't, or what we're trying to figure out here in this calculation is our volume one, but we know our more concentrated molarity. And so we can multiply this out to find that V1 is going to be these two numbers multiplied times each other, divided by the 10. Point 0.5 times 3 divided by 10. I get 0 0.15 as my answer. 0 0.15. All of these numbers have three significant figures. So I'm going to add a third significant figure there. And my units there are liters. So that's a dilution calculation. How would we actually do this? We would measure 0 0.150 liters of a 10.0 molar, what's called a stock solution. That's our starting or more concentrated solution. And we're going to put it again in a volumetric flask so that we're doing this precisely. Volumetric flasks uh, are very uh, well, they have a high level of accuracy. And then we're going to dilute with water all the way up to the mark, because remember this mark is exactly the volume that we're looking for. This is a 3.00 liter volumetric flask. And we're starting to see that having volumetric flasks is important for doing things quantitatively and precisely and accurately. And then, of course, we're going to put a cap on this and mix it up to make sure that it is equally distributed amongst the entire solution. And that's how you do a dilution. Dilution is just adding water to something that you've already got. And uh, now, when diluting, concentration decreases, but what about the total number of moles of solute? And we're going to zoom in here and think about this for a minute. So here, 
you've got 0 0.150 liters of 10.0 molar stock solution. And here you've got 0.5 molarity times 3 liters. And what we're just showing here is that before and after dilution, the moles are the same. Before and after dilution, the moles of solute are the same. And if you've ever made uh, anything that you've diluted, whether you've taken concentrated bleach and then diluted it before doing some cleaning, which I have, or whether you've made orange juice, you've taken the frozen concentrate and you've mixed it and diluted it by adding water, you know that the amount of the more concentrated solution, the amount of the solute, the bleach, or in this case, the orange juice flavor is um, is the same, you've just mixed it in a larger amount of water. And you can taste concentration if you want, if you ever get some of that concentrated orange juice that comes in the freezer and you uh, taste that, it will taste very orangey because that's what it is. It's a concentrated solution. And then when you dilute it, it tastes more like normal orange juice. Um, so you can taste the concentration effects there. Now, let me zoom back out. And now we will do a couple dilution problems. It says, what is the concentration of a solution prepared by diluting 45.0 milliliters of uh, 8.25 mol molarity or molar nitric acid to 135 milliliters? Um, and analyzing this problem by diluting 45 milliliters of, so the times is the of, typically, and uh, in this case as well, to 135 milliliters. So here, the smaller volume, goes with the more concentrated solution. Right, and uh, so um, when I write this out, M1V1 equals M2V2, I'm gonna treat these two numbers as my more concentrated. So equals, and one thing I will point out to you that I uh, need to and uh, is that when you use this formula, you can use this formula with either uh, milliliters or liters, as volume units, as long as the V1 and the V2 have the same unit. So it can use milliliters or liters. Um, as long as V1 and V2 have the same units. And in fact, you can use uh, other sets of units as well but in chemistry class, that's typically the units that we, the only two sets of units that we will use. So uh, I'm, it is okay that I'm going to use milliliters here. Um, and let's see, I've got my 8.25 molarity, HNO3. So those are going to be multiplied together. And they're going to be equal to M2 and V2, which is 135.0 milliliters. You can see that my units of milliliters will cancel out. I will be left with units of molarity after I do my math. And my math is going to look like this. 8.25 times 45 and divide by the 135. And I get 2.75 molarity nitric acid. And 
uh, I will let you do this solution here um, and I will check it in the notes and when I check it uh, all I'll be looking for is the answer for this it says how would you prepare 200 milliliters of you don't have to write a paragraph or anything it just uh, go ahead and solve so find for me the uh, volume of the more concentrated solution.